Donald Judd was born on June 3, 1928, and died on February 12, 1994. He is an artist that focused on minimalism art style. He was painting in the abstract expressionism style, but began to drift away from that style of painting and moved on to a different style that was inspired by European art groups, such as Constructivist, a Russian group, Bauhaus, a German group, and the Still, a Dutch group. He moved on canvases to creating 3D pieces because he believed that a space is more meaningful than a flat surface because it involves not only the sculpture itself, but the viewer and the space around them. It also forces the viewer to acknowledge the elements of the artwork. His artwork Untitled was created in 1967 and is made from copper and plexiglass and is located in the Solomon R. Guggenheim Museum in New York. Here is a short clip discussing more about Donald Judd and his career in minimalism art and the goal of minimalism art and many more artists. Judd's a philosophy student. He's also in a post-war situation in the 50s in America. He would be against metaphor because he would understand instantly, I think, that metaphor could not in any way be a vehicle of meaning after the Holocaust and the dropping of the atom bombs. That metaphor had been called into serious question and serious doubt, and that he had to find a way to make art that could exist on its own terms without the support of metaphor, one might say, without the scaffolding of metaphor. He's identified with a group of artists, the minimalists, because all of them are questioning what's possible in art. And they're not simply getting rid of something, they're literally trying to find out what can be done. How can you make art in this situation? He's trying to do something that's physical and visual on a simultaneous level. And I think he moves into, because he wants to make American art, he brings in American materials, galvanized steel in the beginning, plywood, copper, and plexiglass. I think all these materials he found intrinsic beauty in, and he showed us that beauty by the way he presented it to us. That's really one of the things about Judd that just distinguishes him from everybody else, even from the other minimalists. Maybe Donald Judd actually is the first truly American artist. Minimalism art began in the early 1960s and the reason why artists began to create many artworks of minimalism is because artists wanted to remove emotion from art. The goal of minimalism was to use industrial materials to remove the handwork of the artist and therefore remove emotion. Minimalism artists created artworks with geometric shapes and with materials that are created by machines and factories. Donald Judd's saying, one thing after another, shows how there was not much thought about what material should be used when creating Untitled or any other of his primary structures because creating the art pieces quickly helped remove meaning from art more efficiently. Donald Judd was criticized for his artwork because people believed that it was too simple and lacked meaning. Many people were not aware of minimalism art and did not understand the point of it. When looking at an art piece that has no context it is, and is hard to understand, you are left confused and ask questions such as, what is the point of this and what does it mean? Minimalism art is still an art style that many people today still do not like because of the lack of understanding. Donald Judd also placed his sculpture on the ground, which was an unusual spot to place the sculpture because they were usually placed on top of a base. The primary structure as Donald would refer to his work as, reaches from the floor all the way to the ceiling. It is 9 inches by 40 inches by 31 inches. The boxes are placed 6 inches apart from each other. Donald Judd has recreated many versions of Untitled but used different materials and colors. Donald Judd's primary structure was rejected to be put into an exhibit because of its many flaws. The glass can get easily scratched and the copper loses its color when touched. It is also very fragile and fell once during an exhibit. Formalism had an important role in Donald Judd's artwork because of the materials he decided to use. He went from painting and using brushes and canvases to using already made objects in his work. Using industrial materials usually do not make people express much emotion, so Donald Judd and many minimalist artists used factory made materials. 
Cultural studies is also an important role in minimalism art because it was a new art movement that questioned what people considered art. People were used to seeing paintings and sculptures that were realistic and representational and not boxes that are stacked on top of each other. The minimalism movement brought something new and different to creating art that can still be beautiful. Untitled is an important piece in the minimalism movement because it is anti-emotion, anti-subjectivity, and anti-aesthetic, which are necessary qualities of minimalism art. However, many people argue that minimalism art is not anti-aesthetic because the artwork has repetition and is simple, which can be aesthetically pleasing to many people. Artists wanted to remove expression from art by using industrial materials to create their art pieces. Minimalism art is still relevant today and many art works of art are put into many different establishments like museums, offices, homes, and much more. One of Donald Judd's influences was Marcel Duchamp, who was one of the most influential artists that specializes in ready-made objects to use as his art pieces. His ready-mades were used as an example to other artists who use factory-made objects into their artworks. Judd was influenced by Duchamp because he used an, an industrial object as his art and does not evoke emotion from the viewers because it was very confusing as to why Duchamp decided to use it. One of Duchamp's famous artworks is the fountain that was made in 1917. The fountain is a ready-made which is an object that is used as an art piece or is included in an art piece but was made in a factory. Here are some examples of modern minimalist art. Minimalism is very common today, but not only with art, but with lifestyle. Many people have decided to live a minimalist lifestyle, which means that a person does not own too many items, such as clothing or furniture. Even though minimalist art and a minimalist lifestyle is different, both are kept simple and have aesthetic elements. Minimalistic tattoos have become very popular today because of its simplicity and beauty.